Hello friend, welcome to this week's devotion. My name is Gideon Momo. A few days ago I sat to watch some images of Christian persecution in some parts of the Middle East, a moment that left me with mixed feelings. The first image was of a lady, a lady's body covered in blood and with what looked like a metallic cross hammered in her mouth. Besides this horrible image was a earlier uh, photograph, alive, smiling and beautiful. Her crime, she was a Christian. The second image was of a man in front of whom lay four bodies of his own children. He sat down on bare earth, perhaps too weak to stand, gazing at the lifeless bodies. Or maybe he was seeing beyond the bodies, into heaven where hope devised the reality of our helplessness. His crime, he was caught preaching the gospel. Then lastly was a short video of a group of Christians going to bury another Christian martyr. They sang as they carried the casket to the grave and leading the group was a young man holding the cross high up. I am sure they were singing the hero's song they sang in a dispersion of their glorious heavenly singing together with those gone before us. At this moment, tears were flowing. The fallen me compelled hatred for the persecutors. The fallen me was thinking vengeance for the Christian martyrs. They can't be forgiven for such, I thought. I didn't know what to pray for. I switched off my computer and looked up. Then, the cross and the woman's mouth brought me images of another cross. Two thousand years ago, Christ, the Son of the Living God, hung on another cross. He had committed no crime. Instead, he had given sight to their blind, healed their lepers and their lame, raised their dead, and preached to them the good news of the kingdom. However, contrary to all this good, Jesus was armed on the cross by the very people he had served and loved. I pictured the nails piercing his hands and his feet. I imagined the scoffing he received from the people he loved. I imagined the agony of hanging on the cross for hours. I imagined what he thought about his persecutors. Did he hate them? Did he swear to revenge? Did he cast them? No. Instead, in the climax of his agony and pain, Jesus prayed for his persecutors, saying, Father, forgive them, for they do not know what they are doing. Matthew 23, 34. Yes, he forgave them. He forgave us. I tell you, it has been impossible to delete those images of persecuted Christians from my mind. It must be even harder for the relatives of those Christian martyrs. They definitely would never forget the cruel sins, but we can pray that God will give them the ability to forgive. Or are you facing persecution as a Christian in your place, in your situation? Jesus gives us the most powerful weapon ever. Forgive your persecutors. And may Jesus Christ give you the grace to forgive just as he forgave us for crucifying him. Amen. My name is Gideon Momo. Thanks for logging in.